less cheating. No. It's time to take a wild ride back to the past. Sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Memory Lane. Welcome to Memory Lane! In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting, unique racing controller called the Ultra Racer. And the uh, Ultra Racer is quite the interesting uh, PlayStation controller. I mean, first off, look at the buttons on this. It has unique buttons that you would never see on a normal PlayStation controller, such as an A and B button, and it definitely has what appears to be a Nintendo 64 uh, memory card slot on the back that's filled in. So this controller is definitely originally designed for N64, and somehow uh, the, uh, the company that made this controller just turned it into a PlayStation controller. It's uh, quite interesting. Just feast your eyes on the Ultra controller. And uh, as you can see here, we're going to be testing out this controller with a few different racing games, so we'll see how it handles. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're going to check out this Ultra Racer controller right here. Hopefully we get this on camera, you can see it right here. We're going to try out Ridge Racer. Let me see if we can turn this mic down a little bit. Ridge Racer. Yep, yeah, might sound a little bit better. I bet you the... Oh yeah, check this out, this is awesome. How do I, how, how do I play it with this? The Ultra Racer doesn't cooperate too well with uh, Galga. Where is it? Ridge Racer! Where's the soundtrack? It's my PlayStation, like... Oh, here we go. We got some music. So yeah, this is a really weird controller. I mean, first of all, it has like a Nintendo 64 molding in the back for the N64 memory card. So this was definitely designed for the Nintendo 64 in mind to begin with, and then they somehow turned it into a PlayStation controller. The buttons are raised up very, very far. So let's let's find out if this is actually any good or not. All right. Um, there's actually little arrow buttons right down below the uh, steering wheel, if you can call that a steering wheel. Let's see. And uh, interestingly enough, as mentioned before, there is actually an A and B button. There, there is no A and B button on the uh, PlayStation controller whatsoever. Oh, that sound sounds amazing on this uh, Hitachi CRT. Sounds really awesome. I kind of don't want to play it, I just want to sit back and listen to it. Let's check it out. Hopefully I know what I'm doing here. We got to go accelerate back here. Yeah! Alright, so, oh my god, very loose. Okay, so that's how you change directions. Okay, so this is your brake right here. Oh my god. This is insane. Woohoo, shit. It takes a bit of a getting used to, but I guess it kind of works. Let's find out here. Okay. You can actually drift with uh, the Ultra Racer. That's interesting. Oh, I'm hitting the wall. What the hell? What the hell is that? I better watch where I'm driving. Let me see if I can... Uh, Oh, time's up. Okay. <laughs> the sound on the TV is amazing. Everything's all in stereo and it sounds pretty damn amazing. Alright. Uh, that's probably the only impressive thing so far about this video. The, the actual TV itself. Alright, let's, uh... Let's check out another racing game. So far I'm not too impressed. It was kind of hard. Actually, let's try out one thing here. Let's, let's see if we can actually use the arrows down here on the bottom. 
let's check that out real quick to see if that's actually doable. No, actually you can't. That's weird. This controller has some sort of blockage on it where you can't use the arrows. So you're forced to use the steering wheel. Let me check this out. I, I guess you can get used to it, but you have to play it for a while. It's, it's quite a bit different than a normal controller. Let me see if we can. Oh, uh, uh, uh. let me see. Oh my God. What, what time is it? Uh, time's running out. Pretty soon. All right. Let's see if we can drift around the corner. Oh, that didn't work. Bastard. So this is a very gimmicky controller. I'm not sure if it's actually uh, decent or not. I've had it in my collection for a while. I really uh, never really used it that much at all. I just had it in my collection. Oh my god. The uh, B button changes the uh, V right there. It's definitely not the B button. That's probably triangle or something like that. Sure. Let's try out a uh, different game here. Let's see if we can just... Let's see what we got here. We got Rogue Cage. We got the other Ridge Racer game. What other games do we have here? We've got a whole bunch of games right here. Got a Homer Simpson shirt on. Which I'll add Ridge Racer music while we select the next. Oh, uh... well, I guess we'll try this. Let's see here. Gran Turismo! <laughs> yeah, what can go wrong with Gran Turismo? Let's find out. I'm going to play some uh, Gran Turismo 1. One of the best games ever. As far as racing games go. As you can see there, we got the little uh, memory card CD player screen right there. We're just waiting for it. There we go. Uh, that's heaven to my ears, that PlayStation boot up sound. Oh, that sounded awesome. Something amazing. And there we got the notification of all manufacturers, cars, names, brands, and I did not get to, get to read the rest of that. It went by way too fast. Got the little uh, FMV introduction right here. With the uh, trees blowing in the wind and all that fancy Gran Turismo stuff going on. Let's see if we can skip that. Alright, let's check this out. I'm going to choose uh, Arcade Mode. Let's see what happens. And we're greeted by famous classic Gran Turismo music from Gran Turismo, what, 97, 98? There we go. We can turn it down a little bit because it's a bit loud. All right. We're going to choose easy because i got to take it easy on myself with this controller. Alright, just for starters, let's choose a... Let's see here. What do we got? I guess we'll choose a Honda. We got the Acura. We got the uh, Honda Civic. I guess just for starters, we'll choose the Civic and see what happens. And then uh, with the Civic, we're going to try to race around the track with this monstrosity and we'll see what, what occurs. See if I die.
That's the good thing about Gran Turismo, there really is no damage to your vehicles at all. You can hit the wall a hundred times and your vehicle stays the same. That's nice. So the back part here actually works. Alright, let's see if we can uh, race in Gran Turismo with this. And the uh, brake button is still the same as it was in uh, Ridge Racer. And the, uh, the the controls are a little on the loose side, so I eh, have to budget very slightly. I guess it's doable. So far, I have not crashed. That's pretty good. Oh, I made it around the corner pretty well that time. That's actually quite impressive. Maybe they designed this controller specifically for Gran Turismo. I mean, look at this. I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm in second place. Alright, this is actually quite comfortable to play with Gran Turismo. That's weird. Ah, I kind of like it. Like Gran Turismo is actually nice. So it's not bad at all. I'm in first place. Check this out. Look, I'm actually staying in one lane right here. Nice! This is awesome with this game. Wow! I can't believe it. This Ultra Racer is actually pretty good at Gran Turismo. I, this is unbelievable. Oh, that bastard. Let me see if we can make it around these guys right here. Yeah, check that out. Wow, this is an awesome control for this game. It works pretty well. Check that out. First place. This controller got me in first place. This is a uh, must-have for Gran Turismo, I say. This definitely uh, handles quite well. I was surprised. Uh, a lot of the, uh, I guess, Ridge Racer is an arcade racer. It didn't handle quite well in that game. It was flying over the place. Let's check it out another game. Enjoy the uh, quick replay right here. Of my uh, Honda Civic. Look at the nice uh, PlayStation graphics. Look at that. That looks amazing. I can't believe it. I remember seeing this for the first time back on a 1998 on a demo disc. And this this right here blew my mind. Man. I played the demo for hours and hours. It was insane. Alright. Let's check out one more racing game. Quite well. Let's check out. We have something else here. No, it's just for the hell of it. Why not? Let's try something that's not a racing game. Let's see what let's see what happens. Uh, let's see here. I mean, what could go wrong? Let's play Battle. I'm a Battle Assault. Let's see what a fighting game does. With the uh, Ultra Racer. You might be surprised. You might be able to pull off a lot of moves with this thing. Let's check it out. Alright, we got the uh, PlayStation uh, boot screen right there. Epic. Okay, we got the band Bandai introduction right here. Let's see if we can start this and get the show on the road. This game is amazing. One of my favorite fighting games of all time on the PlayStation. Check it out. All right, let's see if we can figure this out here. Yeah, it appears that 
somehow this thing knows that this is not a recent game. So no, none of the buttons work. That's weird. How the hell is that even possible? Well, let's check out one more game real quick. One of my favorites right here, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. We're going to check that out, see if it actually uses the Ultra Racer. You know, the Mortal Kombat moves with the Ultra Racer. Let's find out if it's even possible. I'm going to get the uh, startup screen right here in a second. Sounds pretty awesome. That's the first model PlayStation with the uh, composite outputs. So it actually still had the yellow, white, and red connections in the back rather than using the regular cable that plugs into the back of it. Alright. Hopefully it starts up. Come on. Okay, maybe, maybe the game needs to be cleaned. This is actually not that bad. It actually looks pretty good. There is a few little blemishes right here. It should be okay though. Alright, we're gonna try it out one more time and see what happens. Please insert a PlayStation disc. Wow. I guess this disc definitely needs a good cleaning. It's not that dirty. That's not good. Yeah, there is a nick over right here. Actually, no, that's not a nick. That's actually something. I bet you that's what's doing it. So I think that sucks about disc games. After time, they become more and more sensitive, even the console itself. All right, I'm gonna try it out a third time. Hopefully this is a, uh, it's gonna work. Come on, work. So as you can see here, my Mortal Kombat Trilogy disc uh, definitely uh, needs a replacement. So I do have a resurface machine right here. I resurfaced the, uh, the game probably about three times to see if we can get it working. And on this particular PlayStation console, it's the Model 1. It does have some issues. It's always had issues reading that particular disc. On my newer PS1 consoles, it usually works fine. And as you can see, eventually I got it working. And I tried out the Ultra Racer controller on it. And to my surprise, it did not respond to it whatsoever. So that's pretty interesting. For some reason, it only worked with the uh, few racing games that I tested it, tested it on. And it did not work with uh, the Battle Assault Gundam game and it did not work with Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That's quite interesting. So uh, with that being said, the few games that I did test this racer controller on. Uh, the Gran Turismo game worked the best. It definitely uh, had pretty good handling with that game. Uh, if it's an arcade style racing game like Ridge Racer, it definitely did not work that well at all. Uh, if you do enjoy playing Gran Turismo, probably recommend this controller. It's actually pretty good.
If you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below what you think about this unique Ultra Racer racing controller. It's quite interesting. <laughs>